First of all, I'd like to thank uh, organizations for this opportunity to take part in this conference. My name is Absalamova Natalia. I'm a PhD student at of Moscow State University. My supervisor is uh, Shkleyev Alexander Viktorovich. And uh, I'd like to introduce you uh, into a theme, local large deviations of random walk in one cook environment. <coughs> Let's start with just simple random walk. Uh, we have a uh, we have a line, and uh, our particle starts from zero and goes uh, to the left or to the right with probabilities p and q. Uh, in my walk, uh, let suppose that p is greater than q, uh, and the particle goes to the plus infinity when time tends to infinity. Um, now, uh, let me introduce you a model with one cookie. Uh, suppose that there are one cookie at the each point of line. Consider an, a random walk uh, tilde S sub n such that if there is a cookie at the point, then our particle come to the point, eat this cookie, and go to the left with to the right with probability tilde p and to the left with probability tilde q. And if there is no cookie at the point, then uh, particle goes to the left or to the right with probabilities p and q like in uh, simple random walk. Uh, let tilde p is greater than p and uh, all of this and all of them are greater than one half then our particle in this case also goes to the plus infinity when uh, time tends to infinity um, here you can see an example uh, when there are more than one cookie at each point and uh, particle starts from point zero eat cookie and go to the left, to the right, and so on. Um, uh, now I, I'd like to introduce you um, some classic results, such as low for large numbers. For a simple random walk, uh, it is written there. Um, for random walk in one cookie environment, we can see that uh, mathematical expectation changes a little bit, uh, but it must be mentioned that when um, our random walk is symmetrical, so p is equal to one to one half, then uh, nothing changes when we add one cookie. Both of these uh, equations uh, tends to zero when n tends to infinity. Also, we can uh, formulate. Uh, central limit theorem uh, for both of these models. They are quite similar, as always. <coughs> and uh, now let's start, uh, um, let's start to talk about branching processes which will help us to, uh, to, con to construct a formula for large deviations. Um, we know that in both of our cases, particle goes to the plus infinity. Therefore, um, there are moments when particle goes from one level to the next level only once in time. Um, such moments we will call regeneration moments. And now um, let's construct a branching process. Um, Start with uh, some regeneration, starting with some regeneration moment, we have one particle. Um, I will call it a uh, migrant. Um, then, uh, here it is level one, two, uh, level three. On level three, we have uh, one migrant. Um, then we look to the steps which goes to the left on the line uh, from point 0.3 to point 0.2. We can see that uh, 
there are two steps and <coughs> it will be descendants of our first migrant, particle one and particle two. Between uh, steps two and steps one, there are one step, uh, which is step number three, and it will be descendant of uh, particle two. Next, we come to the level below, to the level two, and there is one more migrant, as always. Um, we can construct uh, his descendant, as you can see on the slides. Um, then, on the level one, there is one more migrant, but we, we see that there are no steps from, from level one to level zero, um, from the left of our previous steps. Therefore, there is no um, descendants of this migrant. Um, in case of... We have, we have only one cookie, yes. No, one cookie environment. So let's continue. In simple random walk case, uh, the number of descendants of each particle migrant, uh, the uh, simple descendant, will be geometric distribution. Uh, geometric distributed with parameter Q. And in uh, uh, one cookie random environment, we can see that um, we'll change distribution of distance of migrant. It will be like on the slide. And for the descendants, uh, distributions remain the same. Um, this construction will help us to describe um, render walk between regeneration moments. And we use it to calculate functions in large deviations. First of all, uh, I'll remind you a theorem about large deviation in simple random walk. Um, it looks like usual uh, theorem about large deviations we have some exponent to the power of minus rate function multiplied by n. And uh, there is a formula for rate function in this case. Um, but then we'd like to compare this result with uh, result in one cookie environment. Um, then we reformulate a formula to the T sub n. Um, T sub n is uh, the first time of visiting point n, uh, so-called heating moments. And the theorem a little bit changed, but only on some C1 of n factored k. Um, and the result for one cookie random environment, environment um, looks kind of the same, but uh, formulas for rate function L 
and for constant will be much more difficult. Yes. Когда у нас было получено меньше единиц в том интервале, в котором мы в котором мы с этим общаемся. Мы все эту дробь почтенно разделили, будет один минус что-то. А мы два минус два прислали вверху, если мы все вынесем, то это будет больше, чем. Um. Actually, I think that this should be vice versa, because k over m should be less than 1. No, no. Uh. we have now heating time, so k must be more than m. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, in this case, I suppose, there should be an interval. No, the point is like k should be also more than m? If we no. consider the same, is equal to k. So k must be less than m. But now we consider t sub n. So t sub n is the first time we oh, it uh, state n. So t must be Okay, all right. Yes. <laughs> uh, um, so you can see formulas, they are quite complicated. L is, is always some Lagrange transformation, and then we find H sub zero, H sub zero, and uh, all other functions. Uh, but we can construct uh, plots for this, uh, all results and formulas. Uh, here you can see interval from 0 to 1 uh, because uh, plots constructed not to the uh, L of um, K uh, factored by N but for L N factor K. <coughs> so we can see um, if we have uh, one probability for uh, simple symmetric uh, random walk and uh, uh, different probabilities for our cookies, then um, um, the mathematical expecta expectation um, goes to the left when probability is um, probability of cookies uh, became less and uh, we can see and estimate uh, um, the effect of one cookie for uh, for small probabilities uh, moreover we can compare uh, this result uh, with uh, simple random walk um, the new false uh, plot is for simple uh, random walk with parameter uh, 0.7, I think, yes. Um, and we can see that for uh, quite uh, big probability of uh, cookie, uh, there is a big effect of it to large deviations. Um, a little uh, sketch of the proof. Uh, I'll remind you uh, a document of a talk of report of <laughs> Gabriel Bakai, which was on Wednesday. Um, we constructed a renewal process uh, with uh, such regeneration moments. I described earlier and uh, calculate some functions and the key 
correlation which we must establish to use uh, such kind of a formula is uh, on the slide. Okay. In conclusion, I'd like to summarize uh, previous results and uh, new results. Uh, in previous works, uh, where we can find cook environment, there, there, are always, the, there are always a symmetric random walk without cookie and uh, different types of cookies. Uh, in uh, some papers there are more than one cookie and in some papers there are different probabilities of cookie. Um, new case which I um, talk about was uh, when uh, just simple random walk was uh, non-symmetric and the uh, probability of our cookie was greater than p. And we establish a theorem, theorem about large deviations. And next cases which we would like to um, establish <laughs> or uh, research, yes, uh, is uh, when our probability is greater than one half and um, we have more than one cookie. But we, uh, we, uh, but there are uh, some issues in this uh, case because let's return to the branching process. Um, if we have more than one cookie, then distance from one particle will uh, will change distribution of distance from another particle. Um, like if migrant have uh, distance, then um, then on this level, other distance will distribute it like geometric. Uh, but if migrant has no distance, then a uh, first particle on, the, on this level, first uh, particle like particle 5, I think, um, will have number of distance not equal to geometric. Okay, and uh, uh, here you can see the bibliography where you can find some theorems about this model and uh, the last uh, article is about uh, how we construct large deviations in such kind of models. Thank you. Any questions? Can you repeat? <laughs> In small uh, way. <laughs> yes, I. Uh, I think I said about it that if we have uh, just one cookie and uh, p is equal to q, then our law of large numbers will remain the same in both cases. In uh, uh, in some papers, uh, there are <laughs> in some articles, uh, there are um, cookies with uh, random variables with random probabilities of each cookie. Well, any other questions?
Let's thank our speaker.